Hey guys, my name is Ismos and I hope you're having a fantastic 2021 and today we're going to be looking at the connector free asset library that works with Blender and compare it to the new Blender asset library and uh, spoilers, this connector asset library is far better and superior with more functionality than the Blender asset library and here are a few reasons why. If we have a mesh in our scene like a Suzanne head and we wanted to add it to the asset library using uh, the built-in asset library, you have to first go to the outliner then select uh, the mesh or object, right click, ID data, my assets. There's no way of just right clicking the object and adding it directly to the library. And every asset you add is added to the current file folder. And every object you add to your library is added to the default library, which is current file uh, library. But uh, it's very difficult to know what library you want to use. So for example, I've added this into the asset library, but if I open a, a new blend file and uh, I try to access that Suzanne head through the asset library, you see that uh, it's not there. And if I check other libraries I have, it's not there either. And I understand this is still work in progress, but uh, it lacks a lot of functionality that you, that you would expect in an asset library. Uh, so compared to what we have in Connector, uh, you don't really have to do much here. For example, I have a lot of uh, models that I've created previously are for different projects and I want to add them into the asset library. In the current set of the Blender asset library, there is no easy way of importing previous projects or previous models into the asset library. You can have a lot of models on my hard drive and uh, you can see uh, these are just categories of the different models I have. You can see if I go into the furniture category, I have a bunch of models there. Of course, you can get them on my Patreon page or my CG Trader account, but uh, you can see if I go to the electronics uh, category, I have a lot there because I have a lot of that. Now, in the current state of blend of the asset library of Blender, you'd have to go open each blend file and select the objects you want to add to the library to add them. And the worst part of that is that uh, every asset you add to the library, a different blend file is created, which ends up duplicating a number of objects you have on your hard drive. Uh, for example, I have some assets that I already have in uh, my library. Uh, in the, this top channel 101 collection. Uh, you can see we have a bunch of books. For these to be here, a blend file was created, uh, this blend file that contain, that houses all those collections in this folder. So and you can see all the books and gifts that I have in this asset library have to be duplicated into a blend file that the library samples from uh, to get the asset library. Now compared to uh, the connector asset library or asset manager, which you can find under designconnected.com slash connector. It's a free standalone software uh, that you can use to manage uh, different assets, not just for Blender, but for other applications like 3ds Max, Cinema 4D and everything else. You just have to create a free account. And uh, after you logged in, you can now download uh, the, uh, the software. Uh, the installation process is very simple. On download, you will get a zip file with a connector setup uh, file included inside. And then you can follow the setup instructions and uh, install what where you want this to be installed. After installation and opening it up, the first thing you want to do is go under integrations and uh, then find the Blender integration. Or if you want to use it with any other 3D application, you can select that application here. Uh, for Blender, you just select Blender integration and select get plugin. Then select where you want to generate uh, the Blender add-on to. So for now, I'm just going to, to generate it into my models folder. This will create the add-on script uh, that you import in Blender uh, to use as an add-on. So you just select the folder and then copy, and then select this option, copy path to clip to make it easy uh, for when you want to activate uh, the add-on. So to activate the add-on, you just go and edit preferences and then under add-ons, hit install and paste the link you have just copied here hit enter and that should navigate out where the add-on was, was downloaded to. Now just select that and then hit install add-on and uh, you can find the add-on under connect asset manager. So after you activate it, then you can, then you are able to use uh, that as you want. So now to use, to add this into the asset library. So for example, you can see we don't have anything here. After you install the add-on and right click, you will get these three options. In the context menu, you have the add file, 
add selected object and add materials uh, to the asset library. So you can use those to add any objects into your scene. You don't have to go to the outliner like uh, the Blender asset library. So for example, if I, add, if I want to add this in, I'll just right click. And then if you use the first option, it will add the entire project file into the asset library. If you want to add a selected single object, you just select the add selected object and then add a single object. Now I can just select where I want uh, this to go. Uh, let me just, uh, let me put it here in my assets and you can select what you want to use uh, to render the preview of uh, the asset. So I'm just going to use EV because it's much faster than hit add asset. It should take a few seconds to render out the asset and uh, import it directly. After you're done, you can go to the connect and you'll see that uh, now uh, the asset the connector asset library has detected that something has been added so we can hit yes so that that is added you can see now we have our light and now we can preview uh, the image now if you want to use this in a blend file uh, we just have it's uh, just as simple as drag and drop uh, so i'm just going to subdivide this i'm going to split this uh, so that i can easily see both windows so if you have a second screen you just move this to the second screen to make it easier so then you just have to select this and drag and drop. I have a few options, link objects or edges. Link is just linking a reference of the asset and uh, a pane is importing the entire object with these materials uh, so that you can be able to edit it. So just link objects and uh, you go into this placement mode uh, so that you can easily place uh, the asset. Then you just click on there. Uh, you can add multiple objects like that and uh, you're good to go. So you can see so this is a way to add individual objects into your scene where this connector as a library beats blender or is better than blender is its ability to import uh, previous projects directly into the asset library in a single click for example as i said i have a lot of models here that you can get on my patreon page uh, patreon.com slash top channel 101 or my cg trader account uh, cgtrader.com slash ismazvfx if you want to import all these all these assets into your library all you have to do is just click on this plus and uh, select the folder for example this is my models folder and includes all the assets i want just select that and uh, you will see that uh, all the assets are being all the folders have been added with their folder hierarchy respected. For example, I have the ArcViz folder and that, let me expand this, and that includes all my ArcViz uh, blend files. I have a lot of other things, uh, different projects, and you can see they are all imported. You can see how they are all loaded in. And I also have the ability to preview other models directly in the window. For example, I have uh, this here, you can just preview the models directly here. This baby stroller. Again, all the assets I have here are available on my Patreon page if you want to uh, check them out for yourself. So this is where this asset library is better than Blender. Uh, you can easily look at, uh, and if I want to use this in a blend file, I just have to move it down a bit and just drag it directly in. I'm just going to, and you can see we are good to go. So you can see how easy and intuitive uh, this connector add-on is. So if you want to get it, again, a link will be added in the description. What I like about this mostly is uh, its ability to just uh, import previous projects you have worked on directly into uh, the library without a lot of work uh, like you would have to do uh, with Blender. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video.